This week we've been uh, sharing violations found by the Nevada Occupational Safety and Health Administration over Elon Musk's boring company, the tunnels that they're building for the Vegas Loop underground, and uh, they're all over town. They started out at the convention center. Yeah, that's right. And today, News 3's Tiffany Lane actually spoke with the mayor, Carolyn Goodman, about her thoughts about the project and what she's looking at moving forward after hearing about these violations. Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman has not shied away from sharing her concerns about the Boring Company and its tunnel project in the Valley. Thursday, she spoke with me about recent allegations against the company when it comes to worker safety. I've seen the pictures of, of some of the issues of the result from how part of the dig has been handled that has caused problems. Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman says she's seen some of the articles about safety violations by the Boring Company that have been alleged by Nevada OSHA. I had not seen them or heard of it before, but I know OSHA is a tidy taskmaster and having worked in construction programs for the school that I was working on, we know OSHA's tough. Mayor Goodman has been very vocal about the project since its inception. She was the only member of the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority Board to vote against the boring project back in May 2019. The issues that OSHA is alleging as are found, does that kind of reinforce some of your safety concerns you mentioned? Well, I mean, when I was looking at it, my biggest concern always is it efficient, is it safe first? Is it efficient? Are we using dollars that whatever they're spending of city dollars that or the Las Vegas area dollars. Um, are, are we doing the right thing? And Tuesday, News 3 obtained documents from OSHA that show eight serious violations by the Boring Company for the tunnel project from mid-June to early October of last year. The report shows that employees would disconnect and reconnect hoses for grouting, and those hoses had a chemical that could expose them to chemical burns. OSHA also says the Boring Company did not provide a safe way for workers to enter and leave workstations, alleging in a report that nearly 15 employees had to walk through a chemical mixture puddle as the only way of access in the tunnel. Another violation had to do with a muck bin that was overloaded and collapsed after the storage weighed three times the capacity. I asked Mayor Goodman about whether she and the city will be monitoring the upcoming boring project in Las Vegas's jurisdiction following the violations. As it proceeds through the various parts of the growth and development, it has to keep coming back to council and I feel very confident that the city is wise enough and has enough of the professional expertise to evaluate do we continue with this or what. Overall, Goodman says the project has yet to fix the issue it was meant to address, traffic. And there's no change, it's worse than ever before. Documents also show OSHA fined the Boring Company for more than $112,000 for the violations. November, an outside legal counsel for the company wrote in a letter to OSHA that Nevada OSHA failed to establish the alleged violations occurred and that the Boring Company contests the citations. We have reached out multiple times for comment on the status of the violations and have yet to hear back. We will continue to dig for answers. Reporting in studio, I'm Tiffany Lane for News 3. Back to you.